the ongoing Raptors rumor, or not even the Raptors rumor, the That's NBA bad. rumor of the past few months, Paul Millsap is going to opt out of his contract by the end of the year. He's going to be a free agent. But he's looking, there might be trade rumors where Atlanta Hawks will be trading him. Uh, he's on the trading block, basically. So people are saying he, he might end up on the Raptors. So what do you guys think? How, how, how do you think that fit's going to be? <sighs> Well, first of all, let's, I guess, address the fact of how, how it really happened. Because what happened was from last season, Al mm -hmm. Horford did the same thing. He said he was going to opt out. Right. And what happened with Atlanta Hawks was that they thought they were, gonna, they were able to resign him. But uh, Al Horford decided to go to the Boston Celtics. Right. So Atlanta yeah, ended up I don't up think they want to risk that again. And they don't want to do the same thing. So this is why the first thing, the first thing they did was when they found out that Millsap said he was going to opt out, mm -hmm. is that, hey, we, we can't let that happen again. So they just basically said, we're going to open up all the talks for trades. Right. And the few, the Raptors were the first, some of the, because they were about to trade them. Right. Um, I think last season or the yeah, off season. Yeah, before Horford left. Exactly. They were going to trade Millsap to the Raptors during the off season, but they didn't go through. So now, now yeah. that this is open, this is kind of how, you know, it's back again. It's, right? it's a so, juicy topic. I mean, exactly. like he, people are saying he is a perfect fit. He's only averaging, mm -hmm. 17.8 points, 8 rebounds, 3 assists. He's a three-time All-Star, but mm -hmm. what, he's like 31, about to 32. turn 32. 32. Yeah, 32. Is, he, is he able to push the Raptors up towards um, beating the Cavaliers? Because Cavaliers, it's either you either beat the Cavaliers and you make it to the finals because that's what... Is whatever that's what the East is. Yeah. <laughs> that's what the East The Cavaliers is. are in front of everyone's, everyone's way, including mm -hmm. the West, the Western team, the t mm -hmm. Eastern team. So, I mean, like... Well, what do you guys think the Raptors should do if they want to trade Man, for him? I, I think, like, to be honest, they should do it. Like, if we're not beating the Cavs now, we're not beating them. Exactly. I see where he's coming <laughs> like, from. In, in a Lowry's sense getting that, older. Exactly. In, in he, what I kind of see it is that how many times they've played each other this season? Three or four? Three times, Three I think. Times. We lost every and single And they lost game. every single one of them. Mm -hmm. So you could see right now Raptors playing their best mm -hmm. basketball. And even if at their best basketball, it's still not enough to beat the Cavs. And now with Patty out, exactly. we're, we're playing horrible basketball. So in so. a sense, it's worth the risk because now, how far have we gone last season? All the way to what? Eastern Conference. Exactly. That's how far we could go again this coming season mm -hmm. if we make it that far against the Cavs. Mm -hmm. And we know if we face the Cavs with the same roster, it's not going to be enough. Mm -hmm. So it, make, it does make sense to try to go for something of an also caliber player. And the only player that they could really go for right now and this opportunity that comes up is Melsa, uh -huh. right? So it's in a sense for Raptor fans, yeah. for it does make sense to yeah. try. But to it depends who we give up, right? Yeah. We can't yeah, give we up. We are going to lose assets if yeah. we do fall for a trade. Uh, if we're going to trade just for one guy, which is Obviously, Millsap. Yeah. So we're definitely going right. to. I'm pretty sure if we do, we're going to have to give up like at least two people. But but the thing is, you're not giving up your core players. You're not losing oh, exactly, Lowry. Yeah. You're not losing the Rosen. You're not losing uh, Demari Carroll, which is still there. Right, and hope. The Mark Hill's not gonna go back. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> right? You, you're gonna lose players like maybe uh, uh, Terrence Ross. I know he's playing really well right now, but I mean, he's, he's an asset. He's definitely They an might asset. lose their their yeah. tenth pick with uh, Pearl. Uh, they might lose yeah. Patrick Patterson or Norman Powell. One of the uh, a combination with them, but I don't think they're gonna lose all of them. Yeah, it definitely is. Whatever, you're right. I yeah. think one of those four people. If we do go for a trade, mm -hmm. I think it's one of. At least two of those two of guys. Exactly. Yeah. But if if we do three, no. I can't. So if I if do it. if not the Raptors, where do you think Paul Millsap could land? If they're not gonna keep him. Right now, the talk is on Denver. Uh, so the other team that's Denver? interested is Denver, right? Denver, which they do have more assets than the Raptors. If you think about it, they have a really young core, mm -hmm. and they have a bunch of players that they could trade with Will Barton. They have a bunch mm -hmm. of big like Kenneth Fareed. Mm -hmm. But if they do, right. we wouldn't expect them to be at the eighth spot. Yeah, yeah. they're not going to make the they're playoffs. Just... That, that's what I'm saying. Millsap right now, he's in his best position is to go to the Raptors. If he does get traded, it's mm. to the Raptors because a playoff contender. And he does match up against a small ball kind of uh, team like Cleveland. So now yeah. they have someone that can kind of go against you know, four or five. a four or four. five that they yeah. usually use to stretch the floor, which is either Channing Fry or Kevin Love, right? Which Millsap can you know, mm. play against them, right? So in a sense, you're gonna, you, you can use Millsap against those type of matchups, mm. right? And they've been looking for a four, if you really think about it, with Jared Sellinger out. Yeah. Right? They're starting a rookie. 
With, you know, he's playing well, but <laughs> people, I'm saying, yeah, I, people forget we still have Jared Sollinger. We haven't yet yeah. to see him play, he's been injured. and he could be he could be one of our bench players. Exactly. And if Paul Millsup do, does come, it's a perfect that would fit. be a perfect fit, right? You have Jared Sollinger coming off the bench, and you have uh, three All Stars now with Lowry, the yeah. Rosen, and uh, and Paul Millsup. It's just a lot of pluses. He could play pick and roll with Kyle Lowry. He mm-hmm. can help. What the Sportsnet article just said, he he's gonna help. Jonas Valanciunas on the defensive side be more quicker, be more longer, a little bit. That help side is that rotation is so important because JV is not as yeah he's not that he's not, not his game right, which is good because now we can play big. He's disappointed me this year. And man. then Paul Millsap, Paul Millsap can shoot the three as well. And then he 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 already played with Demar Carroll, so you never know what that duo that chemistry would be. Yeah, yeah, and he's a veteran. You've through. seen him. He's played against the Cavs in several different playoffs, mm-hmm. and, and he's been there. He knows what it takes. Um, he knows what he didn't really win do. a game, but exactly. <laughs> he knew, but he, he had that experience. That's yeah, the most he had important that part, right? For sure.